Finally, D-Day, installing the heater. We probably made one of the best investments up until now, especially looking at our savings plans for the long-term future. And we have made quite some investments that were worthwhile. And you wouldn't believe it, but something like starting our channel, which has boosted the popularity of the B57 and probably the prices. Working with amazing brands and setting up businesses, investing in assets, but this one is a little bit different. But more on that in this episode. Well, hello, today is a big day because our diesel heater just arrived. At least one package. We are expecting two packages. So the heater is coming from Germany and the one big package is coming from the UK with all the accessories. And then we're gonna install it. It will take it, uh, I think, they say three up to four days, full days of uh, putting the whole system in. And we, yeah, we made a decision to go for a diesel heater. Uh, because yeah, we are preparing the boat for, for our journey to Patagonia. And it's getting really cold in the boat. So here, have a look. It's 11.6 degrees Celsius. Benjamin is gonna help me. No. They're not gonna help me, they are catching, catching the birds. I to open it up. Mag ik die open? You wanna, you wanna open it up, the boxes? Yeah. You wanna check what's inside? Yeah. So these are all your presents for yeah. a warm room. Yeah. When we go to Patagonia. Yeah. You have a warm room. Of water kan daar. Sorry? Of water kan daar. Yes, it's a water heater. <gasps> so first I was thinking just to have a diesel heater, but just blowing the, the hot air. And then I contacted uh, Webasto and they told me, um, if you really want to have a proper solution for your boat when you go to Patagonia, then you, had, you need, a, let's say, a water heater. So a diesel heater who heats up the water and then distributes it to the boat. And they, yeah, they contacted Beneteau, they asked for the drawings and they, yeah, they gave us a complete plan how to install the water heater, the diesel water heater here um, on board. But it's gonna be a big project because there are a lot of tubes in, involved and a lot of vents and um, exhaust pipes. So let's see. Benjamin is a great help. A little bit time consuming, but look at this. So we are figuring out where we can put the exhaust, or we're gonna put it next to the exhaust of the um, of the generator and the, and the engine, or we're gonna use the exhaust of the um, of the cooker hood. But we believe it's going to be too hot to put it at the cooker hood. As our future sailing plans are to embark on a journey to Patagonia, we need heating on board. And to be honest, here in the Mediterranean, in winter, heating is not a luxury you can't afford missing. Especially if you have kids. And now that we're moving on board again with Eleonora, just a few months old, we definitely need it. So we set out on a hunt to find the ideal heating system to experience sailing life in winter with a lot more comfort. Eventually, we ended up with the brand Webasto. Open up. Yeah, we have to put this one in the in the diesel tank. And then it's gonna suck diesel. A well-known heating system for living on the road, but just as much for on the water. They have two options, an air heating system and a water heating system. We decided to get both. The air and Lily are the vendor, because believe us, it's cold in winter time in an iconic car like this one and the water heating for the perfect sense, our Benetton 57. You found it, you found the diesel? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? There's a little bit of diesel inside, I think it's, it's gasoline. So everything takes a little bit longer with, uh, with Benjamin around. 
but I really love the fact that Benjamin is part of the project so he really understands and he likes like back in the days what we did with the refit he was always on the boatyard and now he wants to be involved in the project so the catamaran boys the Fontaine Payo boys are coming oh, this is a mono hull look I know wow how different it is huh it's beautiful though the head height's great it is it is is there a cheer lift <laughs> it's a it's a real chiller over here so this is trevor hello and luke you're gonna be on youtube guys oh no oh, cool yeah oh, oh cool yeah. and oh no oh, yeah. what you well, have to well i could have i could have put my lipstick on <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was very insightful with the catamaran guys they gave us a lot of tricks tips and tricks because they have the same system so um yeah we the more options you have uh the much longer it it takes to um yeah to make it to have some decision making but the decision just to put one in the in the master cabin and one in the living room and then we can extend to the front cabins and to the heads on a later stage because we are on a let's let's say on a time schedule and we want to have uh to have it heated as quick as possible and hopefully tomorrow the heater will come so we're gonna pre-install as much as we can to install it and as you know we are not the DIY do-it-yourself kind of sailors and rather work with boat yards but Way Pasto reassured us that their system is easy to install and even we should be able to manage the job the Thermo Pro heater is going to be over there there's going to be an expansion tank over here then there should be the cold lines are going cold lines and the warm lines are going here and then we have a zone A B C and D and then we're gonna heat up the whole boat so this is the heater kit expansion tank and all the small tubes they contacted Beneteau and did the research for us and made a full installation plan a dummy safe one so let's see if we can get this done right have to be honest we were allowed to call the technical team anytime which we did so we started Welcome to the dummy safe installation. In our way best of packets, well, at least if they all arrive, we got. Part we needed to get by ourselves. Preparation that needed to be done. Select and create space for the diesel heater. Drill quite an amount of holes in the wood of the boat for vents and displays. Okay, this is for Rihanna. I'm gonna demolish the inside of the boat, so you know. And drill one hole in the hull. Yikes, <laughs> for exhaust diesel heater. And if you are a sailor, you hate drilling holes in your hull. But oh, it needed to be done. And we needed to make room for all the piping and then the installation of every single part. So in the end, it's all about freedom, right? Freedom to sail towards the cold, to sail into the heat, to be completely off the grid, self-sustaining. And today it's, uh, we're going to do some groceries to get some piping and connections so uh, we can set up the whole system and hopefully, fingers crossed, the heater is coming today. It's not easy to get stuff imported in Montenegro, but Porto Montenegro, because the heater was lost, but they did an amazing job. They hunted the package down and they really took care of it. As the boys are doing groceries to finish the first part of the installation, I thought it would be great to give a little background information on the system. We will be installing a water diesel heater. It's actually a very straightforward system. It is a heater that runs up the water, which runs through pipes through the whole boat with a stratic hotspot and towards connected, radiated. Behind those radiators you have fans who move the cold air through past the radiator, which warms up the air and which heat it up air comes back into the boat. This system actually has only a few essential parts. 
the heater by itself with a connection to the diesel tanks and an exhaust. Water pipes that work with the fans which are regulated with temperature sensors and manual switches and the main switch and electronics that is connected to the individual room switch and temperature sensors. We found, or better said Gerwen, had <laughs> nothing to do with this installation. The trickiest part, installing the diesel heater properly as this will heat up a lot and make sure that it's connected to the diesel tank properly. You don't want to have anything going wrong over there. It's always an adventure to find the right tools, equipment in a foreign country. And now Montenegro is not that foreign for us anymore, but it's still, it's an adventure to find all the stuff and especially because of the language barrier. Come, let's go. So no luck over here and this is the marina market, the yacht market, but we found a new fish for Benjamin. Benjamin, can you show your fish? No, he doesn't want to show his fish. Next one. Okay, after six attempts, we finally found a shop where we can, uh, which can order the hose we need. So the high pressure hose and uh, we can write him an email and he will order it and tomorrow maybe we can have it around three o'clock so that's gonna be cool and now we're gonna pick up uh, the heater we just got a, a phone call from Ivan from Porto Montenegro so thank you Ivan for taking care of this and then we have the heater and we can start A little intermezzo here. This project reminded me of an extraordinary story of Gerben in his startup endeavors. The time that he and his partner brought out their first seed investors after just six months. The buyout conditions, well, you could say, heated things up. They were pretty tough to read, especially with a startup that per definition has cash flow problems in the first year. But the beauty of that deal, Gerben had no single doubt that he would be able to achieve it. Just like with this project and most things he did in life. If you have absolute certainty about the outcome, although you don't even know the how yet, you will achieve it. Curious about the full story? Well, I interviewed Gerben for a special episode on our podcast. You can find the link in the description. And uh, now back to the real heating here. Hello. Perfect tent. Finally, after two weeks waiting, two weeks waiting for you. No, 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 for me. Yeah. Waiting Webasto. Here it is, finally the water heater. Benjamin makes his own toys. What are you doing, Benjamin? This is your money helicopter, right? I, I got all the money I yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna use Ariana's yoga mat to um, stop vibrating the, um, the ventilator and put some rubber washers on it just to test so it seems that um, it was an option on the Beneteau 57 uh, to install let's say a diesel heater so everything is pre-mounted already and so we have three uh, diesel tanks in total but we can mount it on a separate one what was already there so you can see and we can even if we want mount it over here but we decided to because this is a spare one Gonna watch the work. Yes, finally. Inspection is coming. Yes, the big 
finally D-Day installing the heater, installing the exhaust silencer, drilling a hole in the in the hole, fill the system, and then we can heat up the, the whole system. You don't need this one anymore. Okay. Ah, you need you need scissors now. Just like here. Yeah. Benjamin, I need your help. I need your help. Uh, Here's your hammer. Where is the drilling machine? Give me the drilling machine. Thank you, is it working? It's like a hammer, Isabel. Okay, okay, a little bit more. Yes, here we are. Ugh. What's this? This is the final phase, it's the electrical system. So, and it really completely fits tool here, so we can ground it over here. Okay. And, th and then we can put it in inside the engine room. Yes. Connect it to the big switch. Cool. Then we have to fill the tank with some diesel. It's empty. And then we have to fill the system yeah. with water, with five liters of water and one liter of antifreeze. Yes, winter. Yeah, to pre-mix it, and it's, you, you should always have it in the, in the system. Okay. And then... Um, Finish. Then we can heat the system up. Then we have some of your warm, warm feet. feet. Have a look. Have a look. So yeah. what's the positive and what's the negative? That is the negative. And this is the green one. The positive. Positive. Filling the system. Getting warm feet over here. It's working pretty good. Is it red or is it black? What is it? It's very happy with the end result. It's getting very hot, very short, in sh very short time. So uh, let's see inside how everything is rolling and if it's comfortable for uh, Benjamin, Rihanna and Eleonora. Hi. How is it? Is it comfortable? With the new heating system that's working? It is! <laughs> it will fill your It's like in it will living in a grid. <laughs> and that was it. A dummy safe installation and proper heating in our floating home. Next time we put her to the test with some rough winter sailing in the bay and snow on top of the mountains. <laughs>